Hello guys, welcome back to Stellaris, playing as Arscaven Empire. Let's continue. And, uh, yeah. Sorry about the lack of videos in a regular schedule. I've been very stressed at work lately, so my energy levels are uh, rather low, to say the least. Being a teacher is, yeah, it's very Special giving at times, but it's also very frustrating. Anyways, let us see here. Special project completed. Uh, once the ship drifting by 50-K-956 had been towed out of the debris, we could send in an we could send in an away team to investigate. It is a murder scene. Only one crew member has been found. A long-eared amphibian biped who appears to have been stabbed repeatedly. The ship is by the death of its crew up for grasp. It is fitted with very efficient thrusters, the structure and design of which are beyond us at present. But the vessel is not armed, seemingly having been used as a transport for important personnel. Repurposing it into an ex exploration vessel would be a minor undertaking. However, we could instead deconstruct it and study the engines in greater detail. We could maybe capture some of its genius and translate it into practical improvements for our fleet. Sublight speed plus ten percent. Yes, I will take that. Yoink. Sweet. Okay, you are down here. Oh right, you were. Uh, yeah, right. That's fine. You were. Uh, what do you call it? Towed that ship, I think. Now, what I want with you is to, well, actually get up here so we can block them from taking this. So, go over here instead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You are exploring that, and you are going up to the archaeological site. Right. Now, we have these two new neighbors, the Prime Assimilators and the Benathi Commerce Guild. We don't like either of them. These dudes here are robots. We do not like that at all. I wonder if, say, if the Prime Assimilators dug up this site, would it also be dug up for us, or could we also dig it up, so to say? I don't know. know very little about this archaeological mechanic, since it's new for me. Yeah, but let's get... Oh, right, no, get over here first. Right, here, here, and here. The Jonas system is quite good. You are... what are you doing? Serving? Yeah. Okay, five minerals here, right. Um, help it. Complete. Ah, right, yeah, one of you, s I complained, oh, not really complained, but was wondering how you could change the designation of a planet, and one of you said it's down here, and I just noticed that this, yeah, automatically. Agri world for help it. Eh, not really, but let's see, agricultural district build speed plus 25%. Farmer's output. What else can we take? Star system charted. Uh, okay. Forge world. Tech world. Fortress world. Oh. Rule. District generator mining worker. Basic out mining generator agriculture. Okay. Hmm. What do I want for um, help it? Oh. Oh, up here. Right. The rats. Oh, we just... what? You already read this. Right. Tumbled over buildings. No, no, that, this was not the rats. No, yes it was, sorry. <laughs> no, this is new text, right? I think it is. Tumbled over buildings, crashed spaceships, lump. Lumps of melted junk and trinkets burned to a crisp indicate that the former inhabitants of Sonapul 5 fled their homes in the midst of a losing battle against a superior foe. The presence of bodies bearing foreign military insignia suggests it may have been infighting between clans of rats native to different homeworlds. Hmm. Their evacuation efforts were impeded by their unwillingness to abandon their treasured trinkets. Many lost their lives scrabbling. Scrabbling? To save uh, their to save completely mundane items, 
One artifact, however, seemed to have held a special place in the society, the Rupicator. It appears that they fought long and hard to save it, but ultimately had to leave it behind. Yeah, this was due text. Alright, well done. Breakthrough chance. 10%. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, this fleet is sort of maxed out at the moment in terms of uh, command point limit usage. <laughs> yeah. Technology secure. Mm -hmm. Mining output, well, boosted by 10% from our mining stations. And the star base building mm -hmm. produces six minerals. All right. And uh, that's too early for that. Corvette building up after burners, after burners, mining output number two. I think I'll take standardized Corvette patterns. Build speed up and build cost down. Oh well, build speed down as well. Not up, but you know, it's faster. And then we have a new reactor soon. We also have to redesign our Corvettes soon ish. Okay, we are lacking food. I guess it's fine. Help it as an angry world for now. You are a colony. Okay, I could change it already. But a colony here is fine. Since you're so small. More growth. Could I change the care? That must not capital here. No, this is always the capital. Alright. Mm -mm -mm. You have no bloggers either. Good. Okay. That was fast. In the inventory, there is an order to the rat's chaos. In a somewhat official looking building towards the center of town, there's a digital inventory of every single item complete with their origins. Gross misinterpretations of their intended uses, as well as some highly unhelpful notes on where to find them. The rubricator, described as a thingamaling, thingamajing, thing, thingamajack, think it, thingamajig maker with magical powers, has its place to the right of the Empress's iliac, liliac ribbon, under her snout swaps, swaps. On the four-legged box with the funny face, whatever that is. <laughs> okay, what the hell is going on? <laughs> These rats. Mm. Nice. Okay, come on. Okay, you are building that. Good. Still exploring. Sweet. After that, I guess you could go up to here. Yeah, get these anomalies done as well. Let's see. Faith in science. Upkeep for researchers. Reduced upkeep. By 20%. Alright. Should... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe uh, uh, amenities as well will go down. Or u usage. And we'll gain a bonus of research by 10%, which is f fine. Stop. Another unity perk. Right. Hmm. What do we... Oh, this is actually quite nice. Enigmatic engineering. But would it be... Would it fit... To fit the rats. Hmm, I don't know. Influence claim one vision. Eh. Master of nature. That would mean our skaven hives would come larger. Which just makes sort of sense. Shared destiny. Eh. Titans. Eternal vigilance. Eh. Ecology. Uh, you can, you can manipulate. What? How do you say this? You can manip. You ku you su. No, it's ku, right? Ecumenem. Ecumenopolis. Ecumenopolis. Sino com com compatibility. Compatibility. <laughs> These words. Um, hmm. I'm leaning towards master of nature. Maybe enigmatic engineering. Skaven, if you don't know the law of the Skaven race in Warhammer, they have these clans, and uh, one of the clans is Clan Skya, and Clan Skya, I think that's how you say it at least, has all these crazy inventions. Um, warp throwers, gatling guns, uh, stuff like that. 
guess it could make sort of sense with enigmatic engineering to make all these crazy inventions that you can't reverse engineer. I do like to know what's coming. This is very handy actually. It doesn't look very good, but it's actually very handy. But we could also just wait and see what you, uh, the viewer, will suggest. Not that I will take it for sure, but I might. And we did take this one, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jonas, 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 come on, shop, shop. There we go. Now we could just beeline for Mirk. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this un inhospitable rock. A year, roughly. Yeah, fine. Do it. You know what? Go down here and grab that, and then go and take Murky or Mias. I'm not sure if you pronounce the C with a as a K or not. Miesa. Mias? Mirka? Hmm. Oh well. I might never know. Alright, alright, alright. I could use some more naval. More naval capacity. Is there a unity that gives naval capacity? Or did they remove that? I think there were at some point. I'm not sh pretty sure there were. Uh, capacity. Mm, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Collective. No, it's here. Oh, okay. It's just been pushed further. Okay. That would also be Skaven like. Like swarming our enemies with a larger, well, maybe, <coughs> flying rats. But we need to before we can take that raiding. Yeah. Need some more food. We need to raid some pops so we can eat them. We could also s get an edict. Where's it? Here. Farming subsidies. Declare Saint Ooh, Unity. That would be nice. Complete. Production. Farming. We are losing food. I guess we could. Saint. Mm, now let's wait a bit. Okay. Head up here. Grab that. After that we can start building uh, mining stations and such here. Get that going. The Vildor system is also decent. A lot of different stuff. Alloy, tech, minerals. And you are still working on this. Okay, 30% chance now. Clues gained. Technology secured. Doubly. Mm, Fusion reactor. Nice. Mm, research station output. It's the well, smallest tech in terms of uh, what you call it, cost. Inhibitor. Eh, we'll take this. All right. So we got. Let's see. Fleet design here. Oh, we should call it something else. Oh, clan ship. Like clan rat ship. Like some more, one of the more basic troops would skaven our clan rats. Clan rat. Oh, I thought it was paused. Clan rat ship. Yes. And this. Right. It's the best we have for now. Uh, yeah, we have. Well, we could maybe could we change one of this. We could. Would like to maybe have a mix of things. Mm. Wait with that. Nothing here, right? A reactor booster. What is that? Power generator. Oh, it just adds more to the cost. Nah, that's okay. Alright, so... Okay, let's read this. Volterum. Volterum trade post. Rixim 3A was home to a small Volterum outpost where they traded with several neighboring civilizations. At some point, the trade post appears to have been converted into a religious mission where the Volterum attempted to convert visiting alien merchants to their philosophy. Trade ceased shortly afterward and the moon was eventually abandoned. Uh -huh. Let's see. Control Shift, right click, do this first. On pause. 
it's a uh, science vessel here, alright. There are someone down here, because this is red, I think. Oh, well, no. Then I should be able to see the borders, wouldn't I? Okay, maybe there isn't anyone. It's just red because it's into their territory. Probably like that. Are they still fighting? They are. Attacker exhaustion. Oh, right, exhaustion. I forgot all about that. Superior. Construction. Alright. Well, start building this stuff here. Then head down here, build this stuff. We should be done here soon ish. Mm. Damn, that's a lot of minerals in their home system. 20. Okay. Mm. We have still room and jobs. Same here. You are running out. You have a. L you might become an agri world though. But this gives two housing and two. Uh, we also need the city district. Project complete. Archaeological project completed. Archaeolo archaeol archaeologists, arch archaeologists on Rixim 3A uh, have sal salvaged a small Volterum digital pamphlet. It seems the missionaries of this outpost passed pamphlets, pamphlets like this onto visiting merchants. More of the data is corrupt, but there are several references to the Great Lie and the shackles of virtual reality. Hmm, interesting. Uh, sweet. Sweet. We are making food because we activated that edict. Yeah. Right, we can upgrade you, which we want to do. Look. That should increase your military power as well. You're doing them one at a time? Yeah. So what did we start on 720 or something? Something like that. Aha! The excavation team has discovered the source of the foul stench. Wait, there was a stench? Oh, apparently so. And it is ill-boding. Closer to the center of the city are enormous piles of dried fecal matter and pools of corrosive bile that exudes, exude toxic levels, toxic levels of hydrogen sulfide, making protective equipment necessary to proceed further. The archaeologists, archaeologists, how do you say this word? Archaeo Logists, archaeologists. Hmm. It sounds wrong in my ear. S ears. <laughs> Could not identify the alien DNA in the fecal matter, but the piles contain partially digested hoarders. Hmm. Whatever consumed these aliens swallowed them whole. Even more disconcerting is the discovery of a fresh pile. Uh, okay. Like big worms living in the planet or something? have eaten all the rats. Efforts to map the surface of this planet have identified a strange mountain formation in the southern hemisphere. It it does not appear to have formed naturally. Yes. All oh, these events, I forgot all about them. <laughs> mm. I know it takes a bit longer because I'm reading all the events. I didn't really used to do that back when we played Stellaris a bit more on this channel, but uh, I will read them in this episode or Let's Play. Um, because it's been so long, and it also gives a bit more flavor, I think, to the Empire. Uh, that we slow down a bit and read about the law, the Stellaris law, gigantic skeleton. Except if we had the, like the same event a couple of times, I think this can pop several times. Uh, what was previously thought to be a sorted, to be a sorted mountains in the southern hemisphere of, of Rixim II have been identified as a massive skeleton re remains of a single colossal alien life form. The bones have been dated as 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists have ruled out that Rixim II could have supported life on that scale at any point in the planet's history. Science officer Skolk has prepared a special research project to delve further into the mystery. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, control Shift Right Click. Knock. Do that first. Okay, you go down there now. Good. Then I guess uh, I would like to grab this, but they keep finding anomalies, which is good, but it just slows down exploration a bit. Fleet command limit. Nice. So we can uh, make this our fleet bigger. Chemical bliss. Mm, they ha have, they, have they changed this, I wonder? I never really used this. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, leader size pool. 
leader pool size, leader cost, planetary hall of judgment. Oh, this could be nice. Mm. Should we just try and take this tech here? I would also like this and this, but this is not that important right now. I think I'll take this. Hundred months. Damn. God damn. Mm, you are capital. What do we lack? We could use some more money, maybe. Boing. Map the stars. I would like to do this again. We are finding a lot, a lot of anomalies, but it's nice. It's bonus, bonus things finding uh, an an anomaly in general, at least. He's still up here. Boop. Vessels upgraded. Sweet. Status quo. So nothing changed as far as I can tell. All right, we gained roughly a hundred points in military power here. Uh, we could also put more clan rat ships into this. Mm, let's see, fleet manager. Let's see, could build two more. Boost it slightly. Special project complete. Okay, after continued studies of the massive skeleton uh, remains found on Rixen 2, science of a skulk has con concluded that the creature served as some kind of organic starship. Much smaller bones from at least three separate species were found within this larger skeleton. And we assume uh, the, these came from members of the crew. Hmm. For no reasons, the organic starship suffered catastrophic damage and crash landed on Rixim 2. While we cannot begin to understand the biological engineering necessary to grow a starship like this, the study of these bones alone has substantially advanced our knowledge. Oh damn. That's a lot of tech. Not bad, Skulk. You're useful, but you're also very old. Ugh. Okay, so peace between these two, which is sort of annoying. Blah 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 blah. Mm, we border them. Yeah. Mm. We could build a defensive port here. Oh right, we can build the. I forgot. Um, right, right, right. What do you call it? Um, we used to build the star ports with the just um, naval capacity around our. I remember now. I remember, complete. I think, but I still think I want a um, defensive port down here. It's a bit out of the way, sorta, I guess. Well, this is one, two jumps up here. This is one, two, three, four, Stars five jumps, yeah. Started. Okay, you're finally done there, and you're done here. Good, go and claim this. We're above the limit, which is 10%. Damn, they changed this, didn't they? I think they did. Help it. Mm. We could build here. Yeah. Oh damn, we need more alloys. Ugh, no, that's not a planet. Still no room. Automation. Sectors. Sector map mode. It's all that stuff. Mm. Alright. Damn, this takes a long time. Okay, 40% chance. It's very long. Oh, sweet. Damn, it just continues. At the very center of the city, overlooking the main square, is a grand. Us. Austin Sibley, Austin Sibley, how, what is this word? A decorated palace with a garish neon sign advertising the Empress Motel. Inside it are lavish chambers filled to the brim with treasure, from which the Empress and her board of trusted advisors governed. It is also where the hoarders held their last stand, defending the Empress and her precious rubricator. With any luck, the rubricator can still be found in its usual spot by the Empress's lilac ribbon. Curious. Well, this might be the last, or there might be one more. Construction complete. Mm. Also been there for a very long time now. Oh, help it. 
Well, we could build a temple. We are so religious, I suppose. My phone is beeping, which means we have to cut. Um, hmm. The Hollow Theater, consumer goods, unity. It's unity and amenities. Temple. Defensive armies. Oh, an alloy fo foundry. We do lack alloys. Fine. I guess. Alright. Build this. Shift. Build this. Need to build some kind of um, what do you call it? Trading station, Mary. Maybe here in Tivilkaif. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah. Uh, Tomb World. Ooh. Unusual readings suggest that may that may be more to this desolate world than meets the eye. Oh, we found a Tomb World. Down here. Or oh, it's just a barren world. Ah, okay, it's not a real Tomb World. Like uh, oh, escape in blight, an actual tomb world. Nuclear winter, mm, lovely. We do like that for some reason. <laughs> Escaping. Construction complete. Primordial soup, nestled in sheltered pockets across Masim Four service is a rich sludge of simple organic compounds that our researchers believe could be a hotbed for Arbionogenesis Genesis Arbionogenesis Arbionogenesis the spontaneous formation of organic life from lifeless matter Masim 4 has an unusual thick atmosphere for a barren world which could make it hospital, hospitable <laughs> hospital for simple life forms although this presents a unique opportunity to study what could be the early stages of the origin of life, it could, it would be best to set our expectations low, as it may still be millions of years before life evolves naturally on Masim 4, if at all. Mm. Okay, no modifiers, anything. Mm, decisions. Terraform. No valid world to terraform to. Right, can't terraform barren worlds. Can I terraform into a tomb world, I wonder? Hmm. Uh, we need some tech before we can check that. I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. Consumer goods. No deficit. Okay. Anomaly found. Uh, isolate. Inexplicable. Optical phenomena. Phenomena play across the surface of Masim B1. Clearly visible from space. Why well, yes. Mm -hmm. mm, someone just bust my door. Just probably just uh, commercials. They will have to wait. Don't really care about commercials. And yeah, we also need to cut though. Light show. Science Officer Skrull reports that the luminous waves coursing through the ice that blankets Masim B1 is of alien origin. Some ancient battle has deposited scattered wreckage of an alien fighter on the frozen ground uh, planet. Now only the exposed core of its main weapons remain intact. It seems this alien race used lasers fairly similar to the ones currently in use by Skaven fleets, and the fizzling inuts periodically discharge low-powered lasers into the ice of Masim B1. The planet's harsh climate prevents the lasers from actually melting the ice, uh, allowing the chili matrix to act as a brilliant prism. Hmm. Okay. Very good. Mm. Ah, you're done. Now let's see. Is it down here? Was it up here? I think it's up here. Anchorage, right? Naval capacity, yeah. Plus four. Shipyard, gun battery. Trade hub. Mm. Anchorage. 50 alloys. Anchorage. Down here. What did we do down here? I forgot. Resource silo. Farming crew quarters. 
dogs. Nah, we don't want to dog anything. Resource silo, maybe? Uplink. Mm, could. Well, Stars don't need to build anything right here. Control. Trade routes. Uh, max piracy. City pirates. Alright. I need to finish something here. Help it, Skolk. Go to help it. Look. Right, yeah. You are building one more research station here, which is quite good. Six research points. And you down here. Right. A gun or missile? I forgot what we wanted in general. Take uh, one of each. Down here. Now here. Oh, Nibbler. Target link. Ship weapons range. Is that also the station or only ships? I don't know. We could take communications jammer, disruption, shield hit points. Let's take disruption. Uh, wait. Uh, let's take communications jammer. Complete. So they have. It takes longer time for them to actually reach the station. So we have. Well, not that much longer, but a bit. <laughs> we can get down here and assist if they attack down here. I guess they also... Oh, well, Elgate. No. Station. Hmm. Right. If we need a new... Uh, uh, what is it called? Tradition. Supremacy could be handy. Starbase capacity plus two. Domination as well. Dominate all the things. I'm leaning towards domination. Well, supremacy. This won't really help us win battles, though. More internally. Mm, supremacy. War Doctrine, right. I think I'll take Supremacy, though, yeah. We'll take that. So, just by taking it, our star base capacity goes up by 2, which is okay. And army damage increased by 20, which is meh at best. Um, but we'll take it. Bonk. That's some good ones here. Ship build cost down by 10, and ship build speed, incre ship build speed increased by 25. Combined with the other tech with the Corvettes, that's 50% faster Corvettes and 15% cheaper Corvettes. Ship upkeep down by 10%, and naval capacity increased by 20. Oh. Fire rate increased by 10, oh, that's good. Overall bombardment damage increased by 20%, okay. Starbase damage increased by 10%, uh, starbase platforms, defense platforms, okay. War games, command limit up, admiral level cap, and war doctrines. All right. Are oh, you done here? Good. Go down here. Technology secure. Oh, very nice. Engineering. Ceramo. Metal armor. Ooh, or destroyer. Or oh, starhold. Uh, I think I want destroyers. To be honest. Oh, we have a free spot here. What is it we generally want here in uh, on our capital? Mm. I want to sort of outsource all alloys and stuff. What? Is that? Oh, it's up here. Whoa! <laughs> Did you eat all the Skaven things? Uh oh. A snarling, hissing fiend has appeared out of the void. With one swipe of her giant talons, she snatched the archaeological shuttle, carrying. Oh no! Uh, carrying the excavation team and the rubricator back to the Viki Raman. Bending it open and prying the rubricator from within. It seems we've finally had the displeasure of meeting the hoarding rat's assailants. Assailant. The dragon must have been attracted by the countless treasures and made her nest within the royal palace, feasting upon their bodies. Perhaps she was on the prowl or observed from afar as we excavated the ruins, waiting for the right moment to strike. She appears to be growling something in our general direction. Uh, translate her animal noises. Let's try and tame this beast if possible. Hello? Construction. Oh, pause. Uh, the rats went squeak, 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 uh, then their bones went crunch, crunch, crunch. Uh, now it's time to tickle the inside of 
your time to tickle the inside of Shard's belly. Yes, you have been naughty little ones. The ruby kitty belongs to, to Shard. Give back the ruby kitty this instant. Please don't hurt us. Oh, we're telling them to... Oh. Let's try and... Please don't hurt us, hurt us. Skaven are cowardly. Uh, but Shard has never eaten any of your kind before. Shard wants to know what it is like to gnaw upon your stomachs. Are they tender? Come here, do not be shy. Let old good let good old Shard smoke. <laughs> have a look. The dragon squints and exposes her fangs, sizing up the ship's crew, then recoils in disgust. Why you look like a stomach ache and a half. No thank you, but if you ever have the audacity to return Shard, we'll pick her teeth with your bones. Yes, you will. Now leave before I get hungry. Uh, a thunderous rumble erupts from the dragon's belly. Suddenly her wings are wrapped around the ship, her steamy breath fogging up the windshield as she peers inside, a maniacal glint in her eyes. How did she get so close so fast, and is she smiling? Why you wet my appetite, little ones. She purrs softly, then lunges at you with all her might, fangs exposed. What? What? What the what? Oh, what's this now? Oh, that's something else. Oh, what now? <laughs> A closer scan of the debris field around Hell Pit 3 has led to the discovery of an airtight capsule containing an atomic clock that measures time with unparalleled precision. It has a frequency uncertainty so low that it will be another 879 billion years before it gains a single second, and it is counting down to a date 42 years and 3 days away. The capsule holds no clue as to what this date signifies, uh, or who the owners are, but it seems as though someone out there has lost track of the time. Keep an eye on it. It's a bomb. Destroy it. <laughs> the capsule is full of innocent looking wires, any one of which could be rigged to set off a weapon of mass destruction so potent that it would wipe out the entire galaxy. Uh, the crew will snip them all. The entire galaxy? That's very, a very potent weapon. Let's just keep an eye on it. I'm curious. I think, uh... Oh, okay, you did escape. Okay, uh, Scott, can you get up here? Precursor, yes. So how much do we need to kill this grand dragon? God damn it. I guess you've finished. Uh... Is this the last check? It is, I think. Oh, last, uh, yeah, chapter. The archaeologists, 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 the archaeologists <laughs> were preparing to leave when they happened upon a large hidden chamber cluttered with artifacts, gnawed bones, and a substantial amount of flesh, fresh slobber. There, on their used royal nose swab. On a four-legged tablet table, with a carving of a face that confirmed was indeed funny, sat the Rubicator, maker of thingy-ma- thingy-ma-jigs. Right where it was supposed to be, a tiny insignificant-looking cube spewing out a continuous stream of artifacts. The Rubicator is a replicator, an ingenious alien invention that could make endless copies of just about any artifact. And soon, it is ours. The Planetside's team will begin the journey back to the safety of the ship. Thankfully, we will never know what attacked the Hoarders. We won't? <laughs> it was a dragon! It was Smaug! Spaceport under attack. What? Oh. You turned hostile. Well, God damn it. I want this. Relic world and... Rubicator. <laughs> hmm. UV laser, cold from uh, listening post. UV laser. Hmm. Hy oh, hyperdrive. Don't take that. Scheming blight. Right, we never built anything here because the dragon happened. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess we could use some more consumer goods, civilian industries. Uh. Hmm. I suppose so. Twelve, twelve. Making okay minerals. You still AFK? Oh, there you go. Go on repair. That's fine. You mm, build one more. And did you finish down here? Almost. You built that. I think we used to build build silos, right? What's the max here? Fifteen k. 50k, 15k, 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 like a thousand, etc. I guess a silo would make sense. Yeah. You're done here. Sweet. Build and build. And we really need to cut. I guess you could start on. Well. Survey. 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 Mm, 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 mm. We're still, uh, still superior. Right, we do need to cut though, so thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. Very much appreciate your support, and I hope it's next time. Bye.